Hello everyone. In this series, we are covering the most commonly asked Java technical interview questions. And the topic that we are covering today is the palindrome. Here is the requirement of this palindrome task. You are required to write the program that can determine whether a string is palindrome or not. So if the string is palindrome, we will print palindrome. Otherwise, we will print not palindrome. And palindrome, it means palindrome strings are the strings that reach the same forwards and backwards. Which means even after you reverse the string, the way you read it is exactly the same as the original string. Okay. And at the end, the solution that uh, the solution that you provide should handle the different string lenses uh, effectively and handle the case sensitivities appropriately. Okay. So the first approach that I'm going to take here would be to reverse the string. If this is the given string, in order to reverse it, I can use the for loop. In our previous video, we already have uh, we already have covered string reverse. Please check out our previous video if you would like to know the approach to the uh, string reverse. Okay. So first, I will declare this additional variable. just to contain the reverse version of the string, okay? And in order to reverse the given string, I'm going to need a loop. And in this loop, the, uh, I, the initialization issue starts starting from the last character, the last index number of the string str. To get the last index number of the string str from the length of the string, I will subtract one. And as for the condition, the loop should be repeated until it reached zero. While the index number is greater or equal to zero, the loop should continue. And in order to reach the index number zero, starting from last index to reach the index number zero at the end, I need to make sure that the index number is decreasing by one during each iteration. And once you have the index number, then you can use this index number var variable to get each characters from this original string. After you get each characters, then you will concate it to the new string that you have. This is the same exact approach that we have covered in our previous video. Make sure to check it out, just in case if you uh, if you are not too familiar with the string reverse. So once you have the reverse version of the string, next, in order to determine whether it's palindrome or not, you just need to compare the reverse version of the string with its original version. And when you are comparing, of course, you have to make sure that uh, you are ignoring the case sensitivity, okay? Because uh, if you read this string from in backwards, it is still level. In forwards, it is still level. Doesn't matter if the first and last characters are uh, uppercase or lowercase, as long as they are the same character, as long as both of them are, the, are for example, L, you see, then it should, be it should be considered as palindrome at the end, okay? So you need to ignore the case sensitivities when you compare the original string with the reversed one that we got by using this for loop. Then you need to print either palindrome or not palindrome to the console. So which means you have two possible outputs right now, but only one of them needs to be displayed on the console. So in order to only display one of them, you can create conditional statements. So to create conditional statements for two possible outputs, we can use the if, f, if and else statement. So here's my if condition. If the original string equals ignore case to the second string, the reverse string that we have, that means the string is palindrome. That, that makes this original string palindrome. If this is true, then I can print palindrome. Otherwise, if they are not the same, then our output is going to be not palindrome. Okay, so if this is the given string now, uh, since I'm using equals ignore case method, it's able to uh, ignore the case sensitivity. Therefore, it stated that the level, this word is palindrome. And make sure that you, uh, you are also giving different data to test your solution. What if the string that was, uh, that's given to us was Java? Let's see if it's palindrome or not. 
It says it's not palindrome because when you uh, when you reverse the word Java, uh, the way you read it would be different than this original word Java. Okay, and you can also test it with other palindrome words such as Anna. Make sure that uh, it is able to identify if this uh, if the string is palindrome. Okay. So this is our approach here. The, this, is, this is our solution. And of course, if there is any uh, there is any part in the solution was not making sense, you can also uh, write it in the comment section. I do check the comment section daily, and I will reply to your comment. Okay. And uh, there could also be other ways to 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 complete this task. For example, for the reverse part, we could uh, we could also use the built-in methods in Java. But in most of the cases, those built-in methods are not allowed to be used during the interviews. Please hit the like button if you found this video helpful and consider to subscribe to our channel if you would like to stay connected. Also, let me know in the comment section on which Java technical interview question you want me to cover next. Thank you so much. See you all in the next video.